Good morning and welcome to Stardew Valley. It is Friday, the fifth day of summer, and the fortune teller says, Spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Okay. We have some mail. Oh, we got 500 gold from Lewis. I've heard you've been giving some people a hand around town. Everyone seems really thankful. I'm awarding you this month's Best Neighbor Award with a small cash prize. Keep it up. Great. And more mail. Dear Dink, here's a vegetable for the little from the little garden I keep out back. You probably have more veggies than you know what to do with, but oh well, Caroline. And we got a potato. And more mail. Linus, Dink, you're lucky I found you last night. You were unconscious and someone was searching your pockets. I have no idea how much money they took. They ran away as soon as I approached. Be more careful. Okay, and that's it for mail. Uh, our inventory is kind of full of a lot of stuff, so let me do some sorting. I'm going to keep the magma caps in here and use them for food. Um, the dwarf scroll I'll use to give to the dwarf. Let me just kind of add to stacks with the rest of this stuff here. Okay, um, the potato I'll throw in here for now. I didn't even notice that we got a mango sapling. And we got a journal scrap. Um, the cinder shards I think I'll put here for now. Okay, let me read this journal scrap. Oops. Day 14. After half a month on this island, I've learned a thing or two about finding these golden nuts. One must keep their eyes peeled for subtle clues. If something looks unusual, there may be a hidden nut nearby. I've noticed signs in the sand and signs in the leaves. I even saw a nut up in a tree near the volcano. If only I had a way of shooting it down. Whenever I've spotted a nut plant, I've always found a way to reach it. Okay. I see another magma cap here that I missed, so I'll throw that. Oh, I see. Um, I'm going to take these magnet rings out of here and put the magma cap in there. Can that not be sold to Marlin or something? I don't know why I still have that. I'm gonna smelt this iridium ore. I can't sell the slingshot either. Okay. Alright, let's take a look around the farm and see what's happening. Um, and drink an espresso. It looks like I haven't been down here since the season started. So I'll clean this up a bit. Let me fix my tools. I'll throw that up there. I'll go plant that in the um, greenhouse. We've got some ore down here, got some copper, some gold, and some iron. As well as some warm spots. have a whole bunch of resin over here. So maybe we'll take a look at building some kegs.
Oh, and I completely forgot about this meteor. Nice prismatic shard, omni geode, and 10 iridium ore. Fantastic. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna expand this. I think I said I wanted to do that, but I never got around to it. Pick up these truffles, and I'll try and grab everybody and say hello. I've really been neglecting everybody because of wanting to spend so much time on Ginger Island. Truffle oil going. I'll grab the milk pail. some eggs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have really been neglecting things over here. Yeah, I'm not surprised that my inventory is full. All right, let's go do something about that. Okay, so I've got 13 oak resin. I do want to make some kegs, but I will worry about that after I unload a little bit more of my inventory. Okay, we'll go get the rest of these eggs. I can uh, pick up those kegs now. Come on, guys. Let me in. I can pick up those kegs now and put them in the barn, the shed, rather. Too bad uh, Gus's omelet thing isn't going on right now because I could have knocked that out in a day. Okay, we'll make some mayo. I'm carrying those um, coral around with me because I believe I wanted to make something with those. All right, let's take care of these kegs. These were just out here for the um, potato thing for... Pam, but they can go inside now. Let's see if I have enough metal bars to make more. Let's see. All right, five. Hey, 
And let me just see if... No, I'll just make those first. And then I want to see if we can make the bait maker yet. Okay, three iron bar, which I just used. Oh my gosh. Three coral and one sea urchin. Okay. Um, so I will put the coral in here. And I have a sea urchin. But I should keep an eye out for another one. Just so that I always have one. I'll throw these in there to sell. And we'll go in the shed and throw these kegs down. We're doing pretty well. We're going to need a shed expansion soon. And that reminds me, I think I want to see... Oh, it's a little late. I probably can't. Um, you know what? Let me try it. Let's jump on the horse and run to Robin. I'll get that grape on the way back. And that one, too. And that one. Wow. Oh, we have a cutscene. Demetrius, I didn't tell you to get tomatoes. I said to get fruit. I don't understand. Tomatoes are fruits. When a normal person says they want fruit, they never mean tomatoes. It doesn't matter what the scientific classification is. Dink, I'm glad you're here. You'll be able to put this argument to rest. How would you classify a tomato? I'm going to say vegetable. <laughs> really, I figured a farmer would know the correct answer. I just want you to understand my point of view. It's hard for me to know exactly what assumptions I should make when you tell me something but I'll try to get better at it. Thanks for your help, Dink. I feel like I wasn't any help at all in that situation, but... Okay, let's see. Okay, so for a fish pond, I need stone, seaweed, and green algae. I might think about getting one of those. Big shed, 550 wood, 300 stone. Okay. And that reminds me that I think I wanted to move some buildings around. Let me just take a quick look here. I wonder if I should put this up here. I mean, it would look better. Yeah, I like that. Okay. That's all I want to do for now, I think. We'll get out of there and... do some shopping. I'll get the big chest recipe. And I think I'll leave everything else for now. Take a look up here and see how things are looking. 
plenty of trees if I need wood. <laughs> there we go. I'm low on energy, but I don't think I need to go to the spa. I wanted to go to the mine today, which is why I grabbed that stuff to sell to Marlin. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have time. Let's see what else I wanted to do. I definitely want to go in here and plant this mango tree. I wonder if I move this, if it'll let me plant it there. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So I'll put that lamp back. And while I'm in here, I might as well harvest all this coffee. And it looks like we have an ancient seed, too. Ancient fruit. I said ancient seed. <laughs> now we'll grab the fruit off the trees. And we'll throw the ancient fruit in the seed maker. And we got two seeds. Now I'm not sure why I have coffee planted here. I feel like I must have started from right to left and now I don't quite know what to do here. I guess I'll get rid of those coffee plants and put the ancient seed here. all the fruit and coffee away. Um, I think we said that grapes didn't do well in grape wine, so I'm going to throw those in here for Vincent. I'll sell the starred ones. And Maybe we'll run to the to the mines real quick. We'll grab a couple of bombs and some cheese. We need to do the prismatic shard no, prismatic jelly quest. And I looked through my comments because somebody said what floors were good for the prismatic jellies, but I couldn't find the comments, so I'm just going to start on 15 and hope for the best. Um, actually, <laughs> let me go to Marlin first. I can sell the forest sword. Okay, great. 
and we'll sew the two magnet rings. Thank you. 